what was your doorway opening into that world? Um, like, how did you go from here to moving over and doing yeah. WWE? Well, it's it's inherently linked to that family again, um, the oh, Samoans and, and that family. Uh, so my one of my friends here, who was an acquaintance at the time, I didn't know him well, a guy called Nick, uh, wrestled under the name of Mana over there, the Polynesian warrior. Um, and he still runs shows here now in Perth. He runs NHPW, which is a, a really cool sort of indie promotion. So he moved, he was actually from New Zealand. He spent some time here, very good rugby player. Then he moved over to the States to wrestle and trained under Arthur. Um, and so he was over there for many years wrestling then came back to start a school here. And one of our mutual friends sort of introduced us because he knew I was a big wrestling guy and this guy was studying promotion and Nick wanted to have a chat with me anyway. Um, and I hadn't wrestled or anything at this stage. I was just obviously, my friend knew I was a fan. and said, oh, do you want to come meet him? I said, yeah, cool. We'll go went to Nando's or something. And so he ended up doing a show for NHPW, one of his first shows, and he brought some of the Samoans from um, the States that he had made oh, friends okay. with, some of Pops' nephews. So he brought uh, Rikishi, I don't know if you remember him, um, and um, Gangrel and uh, Reno Anawahi, who is the guy that's on the indie circuit over there. So a whole bunch of guys that used to be in the WWE and stuff. And they came down, they did a tour and and did some shows. And I was sort of looking after them while they were here. Because he said, sure. do you want to come down and meet them? And I was just hanging out or driving around, whatever. I'll take them to, you know, get something to eat after the show. And it was them. They sort of looked at me because I'd already started bodybuilding and stuff then. And they said, hey, is this something you'd be interested in? Keishi sort of said it to me, which is amazing because he's a WWE Hall of Famer now. His sons are also tag team champions now and stuff like that. And he said, um, you know, is this something you'd be interested in? I'm like, I don't know, man, I'm from Perth. I've never really thought of like pro wrestling as a, as a career pathway. Um, and he said like, dude, he goes, you're at the age. I was, like I said, I was 25 at the time. He said, you know, you got the look, you know, Vince, Vince, Vince McMahon, science, you got guys like you all the time. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, that's a bit weird to hear. And he goes, he goes, you need to go train with my uncle. And then, and then, uh, you know, I, I'm no sure way. something will happen. And then so we were on we, we ended up going to la with my parents for a holiday and then on that holiday i'm not sure if it was the same year or maybe a couple of years later i then went and flew over to meet pops in orlando he was in florida at the time he'd moved from pennsylvania down to florida for the warmer weather in his uh, sort of twilight years <laughs> um and so he opened the school there so I, I met him down there and um yeah he just said son yeah you, you got to look come train with me and i'm like okay I'll figure out how to make this work. So then I moved home for about a year and went over the following year, sort of at the end of 2000. It's so much like acting. Mm, exactly. <clears throat> but it was just sort of, I didn't believe it till they said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm hearing, you know, like, like I've got friends that have made it quite big in Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. And you, there, there is a, you know, there's talent, but they've also got the look to go with it. Mm -hmm. Like even when they were here, you could sort of go, oh, they're gorgeous, mm -hmm. but there's a certain talent there as well. Yep. You know, they've got something right. and lucky enough to have that look, which doesn't hurt. Of course, of course. And it must be like that in wrestling. Like you'll see, you know, you've got the attitude, you've got the build, mm -hmm. but you've got a look mm -hmm. that we could sell. Right. You know, did they straight away know who if you were going to be the heel or the... Well, I mean, generally bigger guys, it's easier to be the heel, mm -hmm. um, especially as a foreigner. I mean, Aussies aren't really hated, so it's not like I was I was Russian or something like that. Yeah. Like you know, um, <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Um, you could have been, Mark. You yeah, but been. yeah, oh, well, put on the in, accent in the Young Rock. I actually was. Well, that's a different story. Oh, okay. Um, shout out to Nikolai Volkov. Um, so yeah, it wasn't like it was that, but you can obviously play the heel as the bigger guy. It's much easier because you can beat up a guy smaller than you. No one likes a guy that no one likes yeah, a bully. You know yeah. what I mean? So normally, if you come in as a big guy, it's easier to build the big guys as a, and book the big guys as, right. as the bad guys in the heels, because it's just easier to get over with the crowd like that. If you don't look vulnerable, they're not gonna, yeah, you know. And you, and you can, you can. There's still some some baby faces that look fantastic, but it usually takes them a bit longer to get to that stage. Like they're so good as a heel that the crowd starts loving them, and that's how they turn to a baby face. Oh, okay. So then the crowd starts rooting from. So it says. The Rock's the perfect example, or even Stone Cold. They both did the same thing. They were both heels at the start and were so good at that that everyone was cheering for them by the end of it. And, and then the eyebrows come yeah, along. Didn't matter what they said, didn't matter if they were flipping the crowd off, didn't matter whatever, the, the crowd ate it up because they just wanted to be part of that. 
whatever was going on was so cool. Yeah. I want to be part of that. Yeah. So then you become the baby face from the crowd. 